War has just broken out over the Lake District. A helicopter has been shot down and the situation is escalating. OK, I'm going to uh, start the convoy again. It's an exercise, of course, but one that's being carried out in an entirely virtual environment that promises to change the way we train our military. It allows us to have one single synthetic environment which can be streamed to you know, anywhere in the world, so players can be in different parts of the world. It replicates the real-world physics, it replicates the real-world terrain. Without using real fuel or ammunition, Typhoon pilots fly over the same virtual terrain. Jackpot, acknowledged. Being used by ground troops. Drone and satellite intelligence teams feed them with information in real time. Using simulators for military training is nothing new, but massive improvements in cloud computing power, artificial intelligence and machine learning software, as well as hardware like augmented reality headsets, now make it possible to bring large numbers of people into a simulated environment of the real world and allow them to train together in real time. The computing power is large enough for AI to represent 60,000 civilians in the environment, which alter their behaviour individually according to the battle around them. In this team, all of them need to see different things, but they need to see it in a common operating picture. Keeping that up to date in real time with 60,000 AI entities running around and uh, adapting to an emerging situation is a complex computational task, so we are the plumbing that sits underneath that. If it looks like a computer game, well, that's because it is. Hadean has worked with the developers of games like Minecraft to help scale their virtual worlds. But isn't real war very different? It's important that the armed forces keep up with the expectations of a younger generation where they're now very versatile on this equipment. My worry is because of pressures on budgets that we will see the flight simulators, we will see these digital classrooms take over from getting out into the field and doing real life um, experience. But in a world of hypersonic missiles and autonomous drones, that experience is changing too. For better or worse, computers already fight much of our battles. Makes sense to train with them too. Tom Clark, Sky News, Lancashire.